featured on this show at the beginning of the year. How much do you remember about the Slow Loris? You might have seen the documentary that was made about them too, which featured my next guest, Professor Anna Nakaris, who's back with us to talk about the plight of these creatures, sometimes known as forest babies, and why a special talk next week is hopefully going to educate us all here in Oxfordshire as to why these animals shouldn't be the stars of YouTube. Anna, lovely to have you back in the studio. Good to see you again, and congratulations, Professor, last time you were a doctor. Thanks so much, and thanks for having me back. So, a lot of hard work's been going on since we last spoke to you. Um, do, do tell us a, a little bit uh, about the origins of your research. Well, I've been working on the slow loris for about 20 years now, and the research we're doing now, we're working on one of the most endangered lorises. It's called the Javan slow loris, and... Actually, we've just put in a petition to make it critically endangered. And this is mainly due to the pet trade. And so these are really, really cute primates. They are um, well, really well known from YouTube, where people have seen videos of these animals kept generally illegally as pets. And so our research is looking at them in the wild. It's looking at them through the social networking sites, and it's trying to understand their behavior and ecology and connect this to help people to understand why they belong in the forest and not in people's houses. Now, the YouTube sensation that uh, with what you talked about last time featured uh, clips of these creatures looking, you know, to the, the uneducated eye, so cuddly, so cute, they were being tickled, they were raising their arms above their head. But you explained to us that actually that wasn't really what we were interpreting. We were seeing it as they were being tickled and they were enjoying the whole process, but actually it was a defence mechanism, you, you explained. Yes, in general, the Loris' entire anatomy is to be slow, it's to be cryptic, it's to be hidden, and it's to almost play possum when they're feeling threatened. And so when a Loris is, is feeling threatened in a brightly lit room, it's going to become really, really slow. It's going to put its arms up in general to actually deliver a venomous bite. And so when it puts its arm, arms up above its head, it's actually going to mix uh, oil from its arm gland with saliva in its mouth and then it can bite you and it can actually really damage humans when it does this. And so these animals that you see on YouTube videos very often they're having reactions which are to hold out for a branch or to cover their eyes because they're being hurt by the light or to actually deliver that venomous bite or they just want to go into submission because they don't know what else to do because they're in abject terror. and. They look very, very, very cute when they're doing that because they're just really beautiful animals and the common observer isn't going to know a difference. And we're basically just misinterpreting what we're seeing yeah. by, by their reaction. Now, there's, there's been a, a Loris Awareness Week, hasn't there? This is actually coming up on the 16th. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah, and the Loris Awareness Week is the first year we've decided to run this. This is from the Little Fireface Project, which comes out of Oxford Brookes University. And it's an initiative... Uh, that we are running and we're collaborating with organizations in India, in Thailand, in Vietnam, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, uh, I think I've got them all, to bring together groups who are working with lorises, who are doing activities in their local communities. Those activities are going to be put onto YouTube, they're going to be put onto Facebook, and then all of those uh, activities that were seen in the local places are going to be shared in those international communities so everybody can see that lorises are important in those local communities where they're found. So if you are in Cambodia, you actually realize people in Thailand and in Indonesia also love lorises. And if you're a UK school child and you want to write a story about a loris, you'll know that a school child also in Thailand will be hearing that story. So we really want to, people to realize that internationally people are passionate about lorises and saving them and that if you're living in a small village, you get pride for that animal because you know people in other countries actually love the animal that you're living side by side with. So creating this awareness, hopefully getting local communities to, to uh, understand that the trade in these creatures really isn't, isn't uh, the, the way forward for them. Yes, absolutely. So we really want to empower people to be proud of the animals they're living next to, not to have trade in them, not to hunt them, not to kill them. And also, the even har almost... A harder issue to crack is those Western people watching YouTube videos who get very aggressive. If you say it's illegal, if you say you shouldn't keep it as a pet, the most common response is to get angry and say, I should be allowed to have whatever I want. Mm. 
why shouldn't I be allowed to have a pet? What's wrong with thinking it's cute? And it's very difficult to educate those people that it's an endangered species, it, allows, it's, it should stay in the forest, and you shouldn't be allowed to have just whatever you want. And it's inappropriate, and in fact, uh, should these videos really be out in the public domain anyway, encouraging that illegal behavior? And in fact, this is going to be the subject of the talk that you're going to be giving in DidCon next week about uh, the, the, the... I don't think there are any pros, really, but the pros and cons of uh, the, the YouTube sensation that the Loris has become. So we'll talk more about that in a moment or two. Uh, back with Anna shortly, and also uh, we'll be t taking a look at a story this week of uh, men arrested for hiding Loris in their clothes at an airport just to sort of highlight the trade that is going on with this creature. 03459 311 111 is how you can get in touch with us here in the studio as well. Um, it's a creature that, you know, I'd say Google and look for still images rather than go YouTubing to see what we're talking about. But it's an animal that needs your help and we'll find out how you can offer that next. When your day is long. 